Today I'm making an omelet. Actually, I'm making two. I'm doing a kind of a simple omelet, and then I'm doing a ham and cheese omelet, just to show you that you can stuff them. Uh, there's a lot of myths out there. A lot of people mess them up. They do stuff that they don't need to do, like milk. Don't put milk in your omelets. It, everybody's like, well, it'll be dry. No, if you don't overcook the omelet, it won't be dry. If you overcook it, it's going to be dry. I don't care if you put milk or water or whatever. It will still be dry. So, one thing that a lot of people argue about is salt. Salt, you should salt your omelets before you cook them. In fact, salt them about 15 minutes before. Don't believe me? I'm going to drop a link down here to Serious Eats. Excellent article on why you should salt your eggs. They do a much better job explaining it than I can. And besides, if you're a food geek, you've probably already read the article anyway. And if you're a real food geek, you're like me and you have his book. First thing we're going to need, we're going to need some eggs. I'm going to do three eggs per omelet. Now, a lot of the food safety people tell you don't crack your eggs on the bowl. And I understand that. But whenever I crack them on the counter, I always wind up with tons of eggshell in there. And that kind of defeats the purpose. So I crack mine right on the side of the bowl. Now you should be inspecting your eggs to make sure that you don't have any pieces of eggshell or other gunky stuff. Sometimes whenever you crack open an egg, it's just a bad egg. And you don't want to cook that. One of my eggs, I'm going to put a few fresh chives. We want to just real finely chop these up. I don't need very many. That'll be enough. I'm going to put them in this one. There we go. Now, seasoning salt, just a little bit of salt. We're going to need some pepper. I don't like the black specks, so I use white pepper, just a couple of shakes. I'm going to give these a good whisk. And then we're going to let them sit for about 15 minutes while we prep everything else. Okay, so I'm just about ready to cook. I want to whip my eggs up one more time. Putting a little air in them helps make them fluffy. Uh, some places actually put them in a blender and blend them up. I think that makes them a little too airy, but hey, if you like them real puffy, try that trick. My pan's heating up. It's not quite hot yet, but if you'll notice, I have everything at the ready. I've got my eggs here. I've got my ham. I've got my cheese. I've got my two deals of butter, and uh, that way I don't have to panic at the last second and go, oh my god, where's my ham? Right? Everything's ready, nice and calm. It's no problem. Okay, like I said, my pan's just about hot. I'm going to go ahead and turn my heat up a little bit. I like preheating my pan on a low temperature in case I forget about it. Now here I have half a tablespoon of butter. And we're going to melt this and we're going to lightly brown it. Because that browned butter, it's, it's just good stuff. And it gives a nice color to the omelet as well. Beat these one more time. The butter's melted. See how it's starting to foam, cooking the moisture out.
See how that butter's just starting to brown? That's exactly what I'm looking for right there. Pour our mixture in. Let that set for a second. Go ahead and turn my heat up a little more. Tilt my pan. Now, if I was really good, I could just roll it using the pan, but I'm not. There we go. Roll that baby up. I don't think my plates are big enough. color on this other side. And that one's done. So for my next one, I'm going to wipe this out. Same deal. Butter goes in. Hands a little hotter this time. It's gonna happen a little quicker. We're gonna throw our ham in. Right, get in there. Put our eggs in. We'll turn our heat off because that's electric burner. It'll keep hot. We're going to cover this with cheese. So let's see what our omelets look like inside. Because I'm sure people are going to be screaming, they're going to be raw, they're going to be this. See, notice our cheese. We use the heat of the omelet to melt that cheese we put on there. Now you can put it on the inside. I want you to look at that. Does that look raw to you? Now this one, this is our plane. Look at there. Now we got to see how we got to see how they taste. So let's try our plain one, one with just a little bit of chive, salt, white pepper. Tastes like egg. It's creamy, smooth, absolutely delicious. Let's try this. Now let's try the other one. This is our ham and cheese omelet, and you could do this with anything, as long as you like it. <laughs> don't use something you don't like. What's the Once again, 
creamy, smooth. It's not dry. That's the key. It's not dry. It's moist, delicious, and something about the salty ham and cheese, I don't know. It just goes so well with an omelet.